es. Can I, can I do it now? Oh, if you must, go on. What do points make? Right. Ooh, that felt good. Happy yeah. Good, good. OK, so we've got the cards, we've got the dolly dealers, and we've got the catchphrases. But before we start, here's why I play your cards right was such an ace game show. <laughs> it brought the casinos of Vegas into your living room. Lower, lower. £1,000 lower than the king. A two! <laughs> it had audiences captivated for 15 years. That whole audience participation thing, which just made it really brilliant. Wow, One man was ultimately responsible for its runaway success. It was Bruce Forsyth's best show. What a welcome. Thank you so much. Oh. It is the king, the ace, the diamond in ITV's pack. The great thing about it was is that you didn't need to go on there with any level of, of knowledge. It wasn't about skill or knowledge, it was just about luck. Very simple game. Work your way across the board by predicting whether each of these cards will be higher or lower than the preceding one. Easily recreated at home with just a pack of cards. You could say play your cards right was very simple. You could say it was too simple. People could play it at home, but there's nothing wrong with simple if it's fun. But it wouldn't have been so much fun without one vital ingredient. Now, I'm the leader of the pack, which makes me such a lucky jack. Everything that Bruce said was a catchphrase. Oh! oh! You don't get anything for a pair, lucky yeah! mistake! Bruce's catchphrases did the trick. Points make prizes. A, they were fun, and B, they were a sort of daily advertisement for the show itself. And here they are, they're so appealing. OK, dollies, do your dealing! <laughs> Ho-ho! The girls were auditioned for their charm and their beauty, and uh, Bruce used to have a bit of fun with them. If you want to do just a quick audition, oh. and then we'll. Uh... All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, you've got the job. But I remember at the time it was, you know, it was not so bad. It's only when you look back now and you think, good grief, that is outrageous. <laughs> the Dolly Dealers did sometimes get to say one word. Have you missed me? Every chance I got. Uh, <laughs> that isn't funny. And they were always dressed in these crazy, mad outfits. Dolly dealers, would it work today? No! So we have our cards. All we need now are our players. Bruce is king with the public. He, he goes through this whole act where he doesn't know anything about them. Muriel and Arthur. Pickless. What, Liz? Pickless! Oh, Pickless! And then he makes a hilarious joke. It is bad luck going to have a big nose <laughs> yes. and have a name like Pickless. <laughs> I mean, comedians will do anything for a laugh. No matter how much they might smile and persuade other charming people, anything is fodder. For them. Turkish women may have fuller lips, but English women have the biggest mouths in the world. <laughs> After their comedy intros, the contestants had to contend with the equally hilarious surveys. And they would ask them to guess a percentage um, after they asked 100 people a really silly question. We asked 100 farmers, if the vet gave you some pills to improve your bull's performance... <laughs> Would you be tempted to try them yourself? <laughs> With the contestants and audience worked up to fever pitch, the final round was where the game really came into its own. What a points, make! Right. He'd just sort of jump about shouting at them and get the audience to shout. And what a pounds, make! And turn some cards over in a random manner. An eight! Oh. 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 you say a king! Oh. Oh. Low, low, and the audience were all doing it. We were doing it at home. This is the big one. You could see them sweat a bit. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes! And when you know someone's on for a big win and you turn that last card over, that's just magic telly. Good luck, good luck! Yeah. So that's Play Your Cards Right. Addictive and unpredictable, but always held together by its incomparable host. <laughs> As I thought, 
in the palm of my hand. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. That's a true piece of game show history.